Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own Kigurumi. It's big, it's comfy, it does stuff. So I sadly lost the footage of me tracing another Kigu of mine, but that's how I made the pattern. You can easily make your own by looking at patterns online. Just search Kigu pattern and you can see how they're designed. You can take a giant comfy hoodie and trace the hood, body, and sleeves, and then extend the hoodie down to make the weird shaped leg things, but we'll get to that later. So I bought a lot of fleece from Joann's. They were having a huge fleece sale. I got way more than I needed. I think I got about three or four yards of each, so you know, a lot. <laughs> the first thing I did was I started with the inside of the hood. So I put my pattern onto the blue and I cut out two of them. Then I did the same with the pink because the pink was on the outside, blue was on the inside. The body is made out of four pieces, two for the front with an opening big enough for me to get in and out of, and then two in the back that are sewn together. And I kept comparing it to my other Kiku to make sure everything was okay. <laughs> And then for the little leg details, I cut out pieces of fleece in white and purple. I measured how wide the leg is and then I put those measurements onto the white and the purple fleece and I decided how thick they should be. I think they were like two or three inches. Uh, look at Bean, look how small she was. <gasps> oh my god, she's so cute. And then I checked to make sure that everything fit. The purple pieces are longer because the leg tapers down so I needed more purple. Look at those tummy touches, she's so cute. So for the tummy, I took pieces of paper all taped together because I forgot that I had pattern paper in a closet that doesn't exist, but yet it does exist. It's basically Narnia's closet, you know? And then I cut it out, so yeah. But I made a giant half oval thing, and that's the pattern that I'm going to use to put on the white fleece. I checked it against my Pikachu Kigu to make sure it was long enough. And that is me putting it on the white key or the pink kigu that I'm making to make sure that it would be big enough. So then I cut two pieces. I just doubled up the fabric. Alright, now I am sewing the little leg details. This white fleece was the worst thing ever to sew. It kept slipping around no matter how many pins I put into it, so it sucked. And then I just pinned the details onto the leg. Look at her. She literally put her head exactly where I needed to pin. She's so cute. I'm like, no, you're gonna go somewhere else. So then I put the legs together and then I put pins where I put the other leg stripe to make sure that they all matched up like all the way around if that makes any sense yeah yep so then i sewed the tummy on i had a lot of mistakes with this tummy it sucked i hated it so i sewed the hood pieces together at the center back and then i pinned them together and then I sewed along that edge and I flipped it inside out to make a really nice seam. And now I am sewing the front of the body to the back. So these are the sleeves. I took my sleeve pattern and I put it on my fabric, cutting out two of them. And then these are the little like sleeve stripey things, the little details that I made. I basically just measured how long I wanted them to be. And then I put that measurement on some fleece and then I just cut out a random pattern. Thank you for cleaning your butt on my fabric. So for the wings, I made the wing pattern using the same method of taping that paper together and then I just drew a wing on it. I can upload it if you guys want to see it. At first I made it way too big and then I made it small and then it was fine. So I put it on some white fleece because I wanted them to be white. I cut out the bones, like air quotes, the bones. I put the bone pattern on blue fabric and the purple fabric because I wanted one side to be blue and one side to be purple. I'm sewing the wings together here. Or this is actually me sewing the bones on. I'm using a zigzag stitch, by the way. I think it makes it look really pretty. So I'm getting ready to sew the wings together. I use these little clips that I got from Amazon. I guess instead of sewing the wings together, I went right into making a nice looking edge for the opening. And then I am pinning the sleeves together.
and I am sewing the sleeves together right here. As you can see, I started out at like the cuff and the reason why I did that is because I was gonna put elastic in the ends of the sleeves and the sleeve caps, but like I didn't. Uh, and then I'm sewing the other front to the back. And then for the crotch, I'm just sewing the crotch area. So the crotch is basically like a big U. And what I did is I just pinned it all together and I just stitched it. Here I am stuffing the wings. So I just sewed the wings like a big pillow basically. So there, as you can see, there's a huge hole and I was able to turn it inside out and I was able to stuff it. And then from there, I just hand stitched it. But I'm just stuffing the wings with some polyfill. And now I am attaching the wings with, I, I hand stitched them on. It took 9,000 years, but this was just the beginning of the hand stitching on this little kiku. Uh, so yeah, just hand stitch those on. The wings are way too big, but it's okay. They're like giant pillows. The horns were absolutely terrible. <laughs> I had so many mistakes with them. I got like upholstery leather fabric for the horns and they had zero stretch in them. So I couldn't flip them inside out. So what I had to do was I zigzag stitched them together with the right sides facing out and I stuffed them with polyfill, but it didn't, it didn't turn out too bad. You know, I wasn't too upset with them. So as you can see, I'm stuffing them here with polyfill, but they still turned out cute and they're nice and shiny. They look like horns. With the spikes, I was able to sew them and flip them inside out. So that's why they have a nicer edge on them. And then I hand stitched all of them on. Then I am finishing up the edges. I just flipped the sleeves inside out and made a nice little hem. And here I am sewing the hood. All I did was take the bottom of the hood and sewed it to the neckline where the hood is supposed to go. It was very easy, did not take long. And for the tail, I am, I ran out of polyfill, so I am using some upholstery foam and I'm just cutting it up and kind of shoving it in there, kind of filling out the tail a little bit. And then I just sew the tail on. I hand stitched it on just cause I, it, it would have been impossible to do it through my sewing machine. I'm matching up the seams and making sure that the, uh, the seam from the back matches up with the seam for the tail. I did not get footage of me making the tail for some reason, but I basically made a really big tube and it was a tapered tube. So it got smaller at the bottom and I added that white stripe and that same purple fabric that's on like the legs and stuff. Basically made like a spade, is this a spade? A spade? Yeah, like a spade, like a, the bottom of a dragon tail. You know what a dragon tail looks like. Oh, look at that cool creative angle. Good job, Taylor. <laughs> look at all those spikes that I hand stitched on. So I'm just sewing the buttons on here. Pretty self-explanatory, they're just buttons. I, did, I never finished the button holes, so they're just kind of there. <laughs> also, I feel really bad because I lost so much footage while making this because it took me months because I just, I kept forgetting about it. So I did not film me setting the arms. When you're setting the arms, all you do is you match the arm seam to the body seam where you sew the bodies together and you want to make like a big cross basically. So that's, that's that. Um, I think that covers everything, I think, yeah. Oh, there's ears on this that I never got either. Lost the footage of that. Good job, Taylor. You're so good at this. Really easy to make those ears. They're just triangles and they have white fluff on the inside and they have the little stripes on the outside as well. Uh, I hope you guys found this kind of helpful. Maybe it inspired you to make your own. And if you make your own, you should totally send me photos and stuff because I want to see them. I want to see you make your own. Oh my goodness. Look at that tail. It does stuff. Look at how spiky I am. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, I'm apparently shaking my sleeves. And now it's filming sideways, but I felt like a wacky wavy inflatable arm filling tube man. Isn't that great? Good job, Taylor. Wow. 10 out of 10. Okay, bye guys. Thank you for watching.